So hello everyone, welcome back to eSleep Brief. We're gonna be taking a closer look at the Aquamax Coral Eye Spotlight LED. If you guys aren't aware, um, Aquamax is sold by Marine Depot. Uh, and they make actually a lot, a lot of nice products. They make tons of stuff. I actually own uh, one of their reactors that I run carbon, you can run GFO in there. Uh, but obviously this video is not talking about that. But they are, uh, if you guys aren't aware, they're a very well respected company. They make a lot of uh, stuff out there. They're all, I think, mainly known for their um, their hang on back skimmer. That's actually one thing I've been having my eye out in the future and something I look to hopefully be able to review for you guys down the road. Um, but yeah, like I said, it's a very well respected uh, company. So um, I am going to have a link in the bio on this product for you guys that do want to check it out. So let's get on to the open box of this Aquamax Coral Eye and take a closer look. So I got this light, guys. I I had seen a few people uh, with this light out. I, I do remember, you know, sometimes when I go over people's houses and I'm buying a coral or whatever, um, I've seen guys take them out. I'm like, where'd you get that? I'm like, oh, it's, it's an Aquamax uh, spotlight. It's a, a cor it's a light pretty much for, for corals. Um, although I guess you could use it outside if you really wanted to, but it only emits the blue spectrum, um, which obviously makes it ideal. And Aquamax made it specifically uh, for our tank. So taking a closer look at the box, it's actually very nice. It has like a little magnetic uh, lid here. So it, it's a very nicely designed box. And the LED, you're quickly greeted here by the LED and it's made of a solid, what I would say probably aluminum. Um, you can see the engraved here uh, alloy. And then you also have full control as far as the dimming. Uh, so you can turn this um, and, and pretty much what that does, that dims it. Um, also you can uh, I guess magnetically adjust the beam on the light uh, by you pretty much just rotating it. So you can rotate it one way or another and that'll change the beam, make either more concentrated or more spread. Uh, so it's a, it's a very nice light with a, a lot of adjustability. I'll, I'll probably power it on, you got the power button here. And you can see there, it looks to be one LED, although I may be wrong. Um, it looks like a big little square. Um, there may be various uh, blue LEDs in there, but here I'll power it on. Let me see how it looks on camera. So you can see there, it's it's actually very very bright. You know, I wouldn't, I can stare at it. I wouldn't stare at it too long. I don't think it's recommended. Um, but yeah, it is very very bright. So here, you're gonna see how I here. Let me how I just so turning this knob here, you're gonna see the beam how it becomes, you can see there the square, and then as I rotate it, it becomes wider and wider, and that's pretty much the, the widest it can go. And then again, you can focus the beam there if you're really just trying to spotlight a coral. So a lot of you guys that may be watching this video may be saying, well, why in the world would I need um, a spotlight, you know? Well, the, the main reason I use it, you know, once a week when the lights are either coming down or when the lights are off, I'll come by and check out my corals. It's actually really useful when you're feeding them you can really see the the, the tentacles um, especially on corals that, that do have tentacles that come out especially the feeding tentacles uh, you can really see how they're feeding see if they're accepting the food or so on and so forth and you can also really really check out your corals health uh, you can monitor it you know i do it once a week it, it's just a little thing i do on friday night i'll come by when the lights are off just kind of take a look around the tank um, and obviously i can you know one thing is when you power on your led that light's only coming from the top down so it's kind of hard to see maybe the front portion of the coral where here I can just come right up to the tank and I can see, you know, all around the coral. And obviously you have a lot more control with this versus your LED on your main tank. Um, and just makes uh, seeing your corals a lot better. You can also really see coloration. Um, you know, mainly what I tell people, it's, it's a great uh, tool to have to check your corals, maybe health. Obviously it's not, uh, you know, the only thing you're gonna need. There's a lot more variables to coral health. Uh, but it'll give you a good sign. You, you'll be able to see the coloration. Uh, you can see if there's any pests on it, you know, just any stuff like that. I like to look at it as a good uh, preventative uh, maintenance uh, tool to have in my arsenal. And, I mean, who doesn't like having little gadgets for, for our aquariums? I'm sure we all love it. So taking a look here at the back, uh, these are some of the features. So it's a super bright uh, five watt Cree LED chip. Oh, see, so it is one LED and it is Cree. It's the same uh, brand that I believe my Radeons use. It's a blue spectrum highlight, uh, which highlights coral fluorescence. Easy to adjust the beam focus with dimmer dial, which I showed you guys. Um, you get also three different functions. You get high, low, and strobe. 
Honestly, I have no reason why you'd want the strobe, but you know, it has strobe in there. It has thermal protection. It, it safeguards the, the circuitry in the light. Heavy duty aluminum alloy housing, which guys, I mean, this thing has a good amount of weight. It feels like a solid light. It feels like a really, really nice light. Um, what else? What else? Shock proof and vibration proof. Requires three uh, AAA batteries, which are not included. Those are you know, pretty simple. I have my lane around the house. Um, night feeding, viewing, and checking coral uh, color and health. And that's exactly what I use it for. It's not very expensive. Um, like I said, I will have a link down in the description below. I highly recommend uh, you guys checking out. You know, I'm sure it wouldn't be too bad to add it to your Christmas list. You know, every time my wife asks me, well, what do you want for Christmas? She's like, I'm not buying you a $200 coral. Well, you know, you can easily add this. It's not very expensive. Um, you know, won't break the bank. And you know, you can have your wife buy that for you. It's a great little uh, tool to have, like I said, in your arsenal. So be sure to check it out. That's gonna be it guys for today's quick look at the Aquamax Coral Eye. I really hope you guys enjoyed today's video. If you have any questions, comments, or concerns, you can uh, put them down in the or down in the in the uh, in the comment box below. Sorry about that, guys. And if you guys don't follow me on Instagram, be sure to check me out. I'm gonna have a link down below in the description box. Uh, I'm actually very active on Instagram, guys. I have over 6,000 followers. Uh, put a lot of good content, or at least what I believe is good content. Um, but I highly recommend you guys checking that out. I'm posting every. I try to post every day, obviously, because sometimes life is life, so I can't post every day. Uh, but I try my best to post every single day. So that's going to be it for today, guys. If you guys aren't subscribed to my channel, be sure to subscribe on the top right corner. If you are subscribed, be sure you hit that notification uh, bell so you get notified as soon as I have a new video and you're the very first to watch it. So that's going to be it for today. We're going to be wrapping it up, guys. I really hope you guys enjoyed today's video. Also, like I mentioned, I'm going to have a link for this in the description below so you can go check it out at Marine Depot. And as always, guys, happy reefing. Till next time. After, after thinking about it here quickly before we end the video, I want to show you guys it in action. Um, I am going to leave my lights on just because the camera doesn't take the blue very well. Um, so I'm going to be leaving all the lights on and you can kind of see here how it works. Actually, you can really see how it works. Um, but yeah, my, my phone just flips out with, with the really intense blue out of here. So we're going to be checking out these zones here. Oh, look at that. We got the strobe. Let's see how they look with the strobe. Look at that. They think they're in party mode right now. <laughs> so, you know, let's put it here. So you can see, I can easily see here the, the, the coloration on them actually looks really nice. You can visibly uh, see all the color, the, the fluorescence really pop, and you can really inspect the coral here. You can uh, catch anything maybe you don't like on it or any pests. Here you can see again the, the fluorescence popping. And then on the udders back here, you can see there it's kind of hard to see here um, with the uh, with the camera but even here you can see you see that you see the fluorescence popping really nicely so look at the Ken the Ken is being so so happy um, I actually can't wait to fill this tank with lava corals I got a really good surprise uh, coming very soon which I'm gonna save an update for this thing and I'm doing a uh, a really 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 nice uh, upgrade on it but like I said I'm gonna save that for another video so uh, yeah we're gonna wrap it here guys um, like I said I just didn't want to end the video without you guys being able to uh, see it in action but um, that's pretty much it guys as always thanks for watching